I'm Sky Mar Thaler. Welcome to another episode of Rooftops of America. Today, I wanted to share with you a few of the tools I carry in my pack on every hike I go on. But before we get into it, take a moment to click the subscribe button below and the bell icon next to it for all your Rooftops of America updates. So this list isn't really going to deal with the basics, like carrying your ID, or sunscreen, or hat, or having water, or snacks. Instead, I wanted to focus on the tools and items I carry in my pack to help deal with any unexpected situations, and to be able to adventure more safely and confidently. A good multi-tool can come in awfully handy, whether the need is for a sharp edge or a quick repair. They combine versatility, utility, and portability. I've been a fan of Leatherman ever since my days in the service. It's proven itself to be a reliable companion, and it's easily the most used tool on this list. Having a reliable light source, always a good idea just in case you may get caught up out in the dark. At times I've carried a small flashlight, but I prefer to have a headlamp because it allows me to keep my hands free. This black diamond headlamp has several settings, provides good illumination, and is pretty comfortable. One tip though, always check your batteries before you head out. A whistle is always a great thing to have in your bag. It is a super easy way to be able to communicate. This particular model by All Weather Whistle is lightweight, colorful, and will definitely help get someone's attention. If you plan correctly, you may never have to worry about this, but it always pays to have a way to make potable water. This grail is a recent addition to my pack. It filters pretty much everything you're going to encounter out in the woods, meaning safe drinking water is just a dip and press away. It also doubles as a water bottle. If things go wrong and you find yourself stranded and have to make it through the night, then this item right here can be a genuine lifesaver. This particular blanket by Survive Outdoors Longer is light, compact, and made for two people, though more like one person for someone my size. Having a bit of rope can go a long way, whether to help in first aid, or to assist in building a shelter, or even helping repair a piece of gear. This is 25 feet of 550 parachute cord, and it should be enough to get you through most situations. The secret weapon of every toolkit anywhere is also, as you'd expect, extremely useful in your pack. Whether repairing gear, for using it for first aid, or even starting a fire, your imagination is the limit. As a tip, wrap the duct tape around a pen or a pencil. Another good tool to have in your bag. Most likely, you already have one in your vehicle, but it's always good to make sure you have one in your pack as well. It adds an extra layer of security for all your hiking adventures, whether you have to treat a minor injury on yourself, or your partners, or somebody else you may come across on the trails. The one I carry is by Adventure Medical Kits, and it's a multi-person, multi-day type for the whole Rooftops team. It's a little larger, but it's still pretty lightweight. Having a reliable fire starter can be a true lifesaver. Matches or a lighter is a good thing to put in your pack. But real quick, before you go, check to make sure it works. So the Titan matches may be a bit excessive, but they are storm and windproof. To add a little more certainty, toss in a magnesium block and striker as a backup. Having a GPS in your bag can be a good thing, but it does have some shortcomings. The first is it's reliant on other systems. The second, it requires batteries, and they will drain. And finally, third, you need a signal, and you may not always have that. So with that in mind, you want to go back to these two tools, a map and compass. Armed with these, 
you're going to be able to figure out where you are, where you need to go, and how you're going to get there. The compass is a good tool in its own right, and it will help you find your bearings. But to really get the most out of it, you need its best friend, the map. In most cases, you may never have to pull any of these out of your pack, and that's a good thing. But, to take a bit of advice from our Boy Scout and Coast Guard friends, always be prepared, especially when you're in the wilderness. So there you go, that's the list. Those are the tools and items you'll always find in my pack when I go out hiking. What about you? What are the items that you always carry? Let me know in the comments below. I'm Sky Thaler. Thanks for joining me on another episode of Rooftops of America. I'll see you soon.